Hello, this is Maria Burke here and thank you for joining me today in my little attic. I'm the writer of the Ark of Don Rua books, but I'm also an illustrator and I'm an artist. So today I'm going to be painting my a little drawing or a little small little painting, very simple, of my blue owl, who is one of the central central characters in this book, The Ark of Don Rua Pod, the blue owl. You can just see him there on the front cover of the book and he's again on the back cover there's a little shot of pod the blue owl so today i'm going to paint him and so to do this painting um, you don't need very many materials i'm using uh, a pencil just basically and i'm using just some ordinary watercolor paper but you can use any type of paper and i've just mounted my paper i just stuck it on with masking tape onto a board uh, you can use any board or you can just use it flat on a table but I'm using an easel just for the purposes of doing the video so it's just ordinary watercolour paper or any colour paper will do and I'm using you need some water you need some paint brushes you need a pencil and you will need I'm using acrylic paint but I'm using it exactly as I would use poster paints or watercolours so any of those three materials acrylics poster colours, water paints, any type of, or watercolour paints, any uh, type of paint will do that can be mixed with water. And um, and that's it. That's all you need. So I'm going to get started. It'll be very simple. It'll be suitable for young and older, whatever age. And I'm going to be doing a series of these characters, uh, fantasy characters from my books. A lot of them are animals, but I'm going to be doing action characters as well. Um, so if you have any ideas, any particular characters that you'd like me to paint, um, please keep in touch and let me know. Uh, send me a message. So without any further ado, we'll get started. So let's get started on our little blue owl picture today. So I'm going to do a very quick outline in pencil of this little blue owl. Um, so we're going to position his head slightly left of centre around there and his wings really they go okay his head is coming up over his wings up here like this and the wings are like um, give them a nice sweep out over the edge there and this one so he's coming in a, a horizontal shape and as you can see his wings are a little bit like um, the shape of the top of somebody's lips okay if you can make them a slight M shape but his head is it's also a little bit heart shaped there like this the owl's head so I'm just going to bring down his the shape of his body there and his legs coming out um, there he is and his claws so they're good sharp claws an owl has got very good claws that he needs to catch his prey and his fourth one he'd like it's that's like his thumb there so that's basically his shape he's got like almost like a little coat sticking out of the bottom two little coat tails and then the rest of the feathers kind of come up and join this here like this coming down to his coat shape. So that's roughly the shape of my little blue owl. Hope you can see it there. And I'm going to move on and I'm going to use a, I don't normally use markers, but these are, they're like paint brushes. They're very nice Faber Castell. Um, so I'm going to use this just to outline his feathers so you can see them more clearly. So outline his shape. So there's his wing shape. And we'll 
do the other side over here. Bring it up a little bit. And his head, maybe we'll make it slightly smaller like that. And bring it down into its lovely heart shape. And there, that gives you his heart shape. And here's the body shape in here. And his little legs coming out like that. And the wing, the bottom of the wings kind of just start really where his legs begin. And they come up like this. this leg. Quite little, wide little fluffy legs. And here's his claw. But what I like about these is they're like a brush, these um, markers. They're less like a, you know, a marker shape. And they give you kind of softer, more, more brush-like marks. But any kind of um, marker or paintbrush or whatever you have will do just fine. So his eyes, they're kind of that shape. Okay, see, so the best thing is to practice doing these shapes and you'll get good at them when you practice them. And his beak, you just make it like that. So that's roughly my little owl shape. And now I'm going to um, put some paint on my brush and and paint him. So I've got, uh, I've just diluted down some blue acrylic and I'm going to make it pretty watery. So he's a blue owl. Mm, something else I should have done here. I'm just going to bring this back in. Please excuse me is falling down. Um, just to bring in the fold of his feathers there. And we're coming in with our, our blue. Oh, it's a nice bright blue as well. So we'll bring it in the darkest area here under his feathers. And at the top of the feathers up here. There. So if you practice this, you'll get good at just doing these quick marks, these quick lines. And yeah, we'll give him his blue head here, around his face, and we'll shade in all that inside. Give him his beautiful blue, his blue face, in there like that. And here we need to be bringing in some feather shapes. So this is just these sweeping marks going downwards you the shape of feathers and don't be perfect about these because if you try to be too perfect they won't look natural either so we just do them just get into your sweeping motion your sweeping feather motion like this there he is and you don't need to be too perfect about things it's the impression really that matters so his body shape will make him a little bit darker on this side. Put his shadows in around here and we'll put, we'll make him lighter on the other side, on this side over here. But we'll outline him a little bit in the blue as well. So there, his little blue feathers, his blue shape. So this is Pod the Blue Owl. He's a real favourite character of mine. And he's in my first Ark of Dunruel book. And um, 
think he's kind of a favourite with everybody. He's a little grumpy old blue owl who didn't want to go on an adventure. And um, But he was being pestered and being played by these eagles um, that seemed to be chasing him around the town. And nobody could, well he couldn't figure out why the eagles uh, what they wanted with him, what he had done. He was minding his own business. He always minded his own business and he just liked having a quiet life. And eventually it all builds up and he disappears. And it's all because of the eagles. And the question is, why do the eagles come to the little town looking for Pod the Blue Owl. What do they want with them? That really is the mystery in the book. So that's my first Ark of Dunruel book. Um, and Pod, he's one of these reluctant heroes. He becomes quite a hero. In fact, he's a really big hero in the book. Nobody really expects it. But, uh, he loves his friends. So this is, he's quite a character and he's a reluctant hero. But I often think that people, the majority of people are reluctant heroes. They become heroes because they're, because they love other people. They're in a situation where they have to act. And, uh, and then something amazing comes out in them. So as you can see here, I'm just working on these brush marks for the feathers, trying to bring them out. And in here it's more irregular. You can just put little marks in here for the more irregular feathers. Little crops of small feathers in here. Okay. And the legs come out like that. And we're just blending. We're putting some just darken around the edge of his face there, around his head. And um, I'm going to use a darker colour here. Oh my goodness, in those few minutes my acrylic paint dried up since I put it out. But I, I think I'm able to make kind of a darker colour here. Um, where I'm going to just go into those shadows. bring out those shadows and again bring those sweeping marks down to show you his feathers. So it is the sweep of these lines that will give you the illusion of feathers. Is quite dark in there. The shadows in under his legs. And we'll colour in, we'll paint in these claws as well, darken them down a bit. And it's quite an action photo. He's coming in for our uh, painting. He's coming in for landing. So he's coming towards the viewer. And we will darken in his eyes as well there. So this is Pod the Blue Owl. And I hope you like him. Um, I don't like leaving a character suspended in the air, so I'm going to put in maybe a few clouds. Just something around him. I'll get a bigger brush. And put in some... A little bit of background there. So he's not just floating. A bit of sky behind him. And maybe put in some mountains down here. So we've got a bit of background. Or some rocks, whatever those details may be.
could even be coming in over the ocean. It's going to be the ocean over here. Keep it flat. And there could be some mountains or some rocks or cliff edges over here. Because as you know, on the, on, in my books, in the Ark of Dunrua, they go off on this amazing ship called the Ark of Dunrua that takes them on their adventures. Just put in some sky shapes and I have pencil marks there in the background and I will rub those out before this painting is completely finished and I'll, that'll give me a cleaner image so you can see the kind of the grey marks of the pencil around there. It's good to put a, a rough drawing down in pencil underneath. So there we are. My little character, Pod the Blue Owl, much loved, very popular little character. Hope you enjoy it and I will be back with more of these uh, pictures for anybody who likes um, painting, painting nature, painting natural figures, animals, birds. I will be back with more of these over the coming weeks. I think I'll put some more clips over on that side. So, if you want to learn how to draw, how to draw characters, how to illustrate animals, and I'll also be doing action figures as well, uh, mostly from my books, but they'll be of interest to anybody who likes action characters. There we go. Thank you for joining me today and uh, I'll be back with you. Watch out, do like, subscribe and share and watch out for more videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. God bless.